dear students we are discussing the methods of estimating working capital requirements in our last class we have already discussed the method percentage of sales method in that case we estimated the working capital elements current assets and current liabilities as a percentage of sales now we are moving to the second method that is regression analysis method okay we know what is regression analysis we will infer the value of one variable with the help of the value of another variable okay then so here we are relating sales with working capital that means we are calculating the value of working capital based on the value of sales okay for this purpose we will use the equation y is equal to a plus b x the same regression analysis equation okay to find the values of a and b we will use these two equations sigma y is equal to n a plus b sigma x and sigma x y is equal to a sigma x plus b sigma x square okay then let us discuss how it can be calculated this is the model question the sales and working capital of s limited for 5 years are given below we are given with the values for 5 years sales and working capital here these are the 5 years and here it is said that we have to forecast the working capital requirement of 2016 that is in 2016 what will be the working capital requirement if the sales is 200 we are given with the value of sales and not given with the value of working capital so we have to calculate the working capital for 2016 based on the sales value 200 okay here y is our working capital and x is our sales okay then here we have to firstly for calculating the values as per the equation the equation is y is equal to a plus bx so we have to get different values like sigma y sigma x then sigma xy sigma x square okay sigma x sigma xy all these values are to be identified so we will show these values in a table first is sales value here firstly we will show the years the total number of years is n okay n here is 5 and sales is taken as x okay we are finding the value of y based on x so the given value is sales so we will take sales as x we will list out all the values and the total will be sigma x likewise we will list out the values of y for 5 years not 6 years okay and the total will be sigma y then we have to get to two more values one is sigma xy so we will show that uh, uh, heading xy x into y that is 16 into 12 720 18 into 150 15200 likewise we will get the values of sigma xy and also sigma x square okay we have got all the values so we have to provide additional two more columns xy column and x square column and find the total of everything okay then next we will move to the first equation sigma y is equal to n a plus b sigma x and sigma x y is equal to a sigma x plus b sigma x square okay so we will replace the values for these equations that is sigma y we know sigma y is 91 so 91 is equal to n a n is number of years that is 5 and a will be given just like a okay we are finding the values of a and b so 5a is equal to sigma x is equal to 550 550 b b sigma x that is 550 b b 550 means 550 b okay and also sigma x y is equal to 10000 
730 is equal to a sigma x sigma x we have already mentioned 550 550 a plus b sigma x square sigma x square is 60,500 so 60,500 b we will show the values for these equations and to equalize these two equations we have to find one value so here it is 5a here it is 550a to equalize we have to multiply the first equation with 110 5 into 110 is equal to 550 so we will multiply the equation 1 with 110 that is 91 into 110 10,010 5a into 110 550a then 550b into 110 60,500 we will multiply equation 1 with 110 then we will subtract this equation 10,010 from the equation 1 okay so we will get the value 720 is equal to 0 plus 6400 so b is equal to now we will subtract equation 3 and equation 2 that is this is our equation 2 that is 10,730 is equal to 550a plus 60,900b and this is our equation 3 okay we will find the difference between these two equations then we will get the value 720 10,730 minus 10,010 is equal to 720 550a minus 550a is equal to 0 66,900 minus 60,500 is equal to 6,400b okay so we will get the value b is equal to 0.1125 that is b is equal to 720 divided by 6400 so we will get 0.1125 so we have already got the values of b then putting the values of b in equation 1 in the equation 1 we will put the value that is 91 is equal to 5a plus 550b b is 0 0.1125 for 550 into 1125 0 0.1125 so when simplifying these equations we will get to 5a is equal to 29 point something a is equal to 29 point something divided by 5 is equal to 5.825 so we got the values of a and b okay then now putting the values of a and b in the equation y is equal to a plus bx okay y is equal to a plus bx y, y is working capital required and b, x is equal to the sales okay so y is equal to 5.825 a plus b 0.1125 into x x here is 200 that is the amount of sales for 2016 okay so we will get the values of y as 27.825 thus when estimated values for to the, uh, the year for the uh, year 2016 at the amount of sales of 200 lakhs it will be 27.825 lakhs okay this is regression analysis method we will find the value of working capital based on sales okay now i am giving you one more question okay that is we are given with the values of sales and working capital okay sales and working capital require requirements okay it is given for five years for one two three four five years the value of sales are 200 it is given in lakhs 200 then 300 then 250 then 150 and 300 okay and the working capital required are 70 72 60 
then 75 it is 60 okay 60 75 and 80 we are given with uh, the values of the sixth year sales that is it is 400 okay we are given with uh, the value of sales of rupees 400 lakhs in the sixth year okay we have to calculate the value of working capital using regression equation method i am repeating the question sales for sales and working capital requirements for 5 years are already given 200 sales is 200 300 250 150 and 300 lakhs and working capital requirements are 70 72 60 75 and 80 lakhs if the sales for the sixth year is 400 lakhs what is the amount of working capital required for the sixth year calculate the value using regression equation methods so you calculate the values and give the answer as a comment to our google classroom okay thank you thank you very much